so pretty good. Uh, you guys have done a great job. Uh, it's amazing to have this all running. Amazing. All right, get out of the vehicle. Let's check it out. <laughs> Steve Fambro, everybody. Woo! <laughs> Member on the marketing team, what are you working on, yep. Ken? I am working on something really fun. We are working on a California road trip, aka Aptera Solar Road Trip, and it's coming by pretty soon. It's coming by pretty soon. That's and awesome. we shall we say the stops? I've been yeah, you can say to. the stops. I've been dying you to say the stops. Okay, everybody, these are gonna Go be the five cities we're gonna be dropping by. Huntington Beach. Yep. We're gonna be dropping by Hollywood. Yep. Santa Barbara. Palo Alto and Fresno. Whoa. Yep. So a lot of stops. Guys, this is going to be our chance, all of our chances to see this validation, this beautiful validation vehicle, Artemis Live. So please come through. Come through if you're nearby the area. Awesome. Thanks, Ken. So yeah. you can side, Steve. Why don't we check it out? Do you want, I'll pop in the passenger Today, side. Today, let's look at Aptera's journey from the world's most pathetic EV to the world's most successful SEV. Imagine an electric vehicle so efficient, it could drive for weeks without ever plugging in. A solar car so aerodynamic, it slices through the air like a bird. And a team so relentlessly resilient that despite two decades of setbacks, bankruptcies and mockery, they never quit. This is the story of Aptera Motors. Once written off as a failed science project, Aptera is now on the verge of launching the world's most efficient solar electric vehicle and it might just redefine how we think about cars, energy and resilience in the age of climate disruption. So how did a company once labeled as the EV world's biggest disappointment become a symbol of futuristic sustainability? The answer reveals much more than just a vehicle. It reveals the power of persistence, of systems thinking, and of building for a world that hasn't yet arrived. If you're enjoying the content so far, be sure to give this video a like, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notification. Share this video with someone curious. Let's delve in. Aptera was born in 2006 with a radical dream build the most aerodynamic, energy-efficient vehicle the world had never seen. Its creators Steve Ambro and Chris Anthony weren't traditional auto executives, they were outsiders, but that may have been their greatest strength. They envisioned a three-wheel vehicle with one simple mission, reduce energy waste. Why the auto industry chased bigger batteries and faster speeds? Aptera focused on the fundamentals of physics. Their design was shaped like a teardrop, nature's most aerodynamic form. Lightweight composite materials replaced steel, and solar panels lined the surface. The result, a vehicle that could use just 100 watt hours per mile, a fraction of what even the most efficient Teslas consume. But innovation often walks a lonely road. Early investors backed out. Their first venture went bankrupt in 2011. Media mocked them. And for years, Aptera was nothing more than an idea that had come too soon. But here's where the story takes a turn. In 2019, the founders came back and this time the world was different. Climate urgency had grown, solar power was cheaper, battery tech had improved. And thanks to regulatory changes in the USA, equity crowdfunding allowed everyday people to invest in what they believed in. Aptera launched a new model, sleeker, more efficient, and designed to run for up to 1,000 miles on a single charge. Thanks to its ultralight structure and integrated solar panels, in ideal conditions, the sun alone could provide 40 miles of free range per day. Suddenly, the AV world took notice. Thousands of people signed up to invest, not institutions, but individuals, regular citizens who were tired of the same SUVs wrapped in green marketing. This was something different, a car that doesn't just reduce emissions but practically eliminates the need for grid charging altogether. Aptera calls it an SEV, a solar electric vehicle. And why skeptics still point to missed deadlines, underpowered test drives and fundraising challenges? A bigger picture tells a different story. Because unlike dozens of EV startups that surged during the 2020 bubble, most of which are now bankrupt, Aptera has endured. 
not because it outspends the competition, but because it outlasted them. Let's look at the numbers. Since its reboot, Aptera has raised over $130 million through Regulation A crowdfunding. It has more than 45,000 reservations, and while large institutional investors have held back, Aptera's grassroots support has become its powerhouse. This isn't just a company, it's a movement, and it stands on a principle that cuts across science, economics, and sustainability. The more efficient your system, the fewer resources you need. That principle is backed into everything Aptera builds. Its three-wheel design reduces drag. Its lightweight carbon fiber body means the battery doesn't have to work as hard. Solar integration gives commuters in sunny climates nearly energy-free daily driving. This is a fundamentally different mindset from mainstream EV makers. Where others throw more batteries at the problem, Aptera removes the need. It shrinks energy consumption into levels the grid can easily support. That's not just good engineering, it's systems thinking. Because EVs aren't automatically sustainable if they rely on coal-heavy grids and massive resource extraction. The real challenge is efficiency at every level, materia, structure, and behavioria. And that's where Aptera shines. And here's the most fascinating part. Despite nearly two decades of delay, Aptera now stands closer than ever to launching production. In June 27, 2025, they unveiled their validation prototype, the final step before manufacturing. This vehicle, if delivered as planned, would be the most efficient mass-produced road vehicle in history, a car that gets 10 miles per kilowatt hour, a solar car that in many cases you will never have to plug in, and a company that's shown that slow progress is not failure, it's preparation. The road hasn't been smooth. In 2023, a prototype overheated on a mill hill during a new segment, leading to waves of criticisms. Aptera responded quickly, explained the missing cooling system, and adjusted their testing protocol. It was embarrassing, yes, but they didn't collapse. They learned, they moved forward. In an industry where most would have quit, they adapted. That resilience matters. Because building for a sustainable future isn't about flashy launches or viral moments. It's about consistency under pressure. It's about designing systems that resist failure, that learn from weakness, and that move towards long-term strain. Aptera may still face hurdles. They need over $60 million or even more to start production. Their launch edition is now expected to come with 400 miles, not 1,000 miles. And they will need to prove long-term reliability. But make no mistakes, the science is sound. Aerodynamic drag accounts for up to half of the energy used in highway driving. By cutting that down with clever design, Aptera slashes emissions not through offsetting, but by removing the need in the first place. It's not the flashiest solution. But it may be the smartest. Imagine a future where cities are full of ultralight, solar-powered vehicles that barely touch the grid, where daily commuting requires no fossil fuels, where vehicles are optimized not for horsepower but for harmony with the environment. Aptera doesn't promise to replace every car, but it doesn't have to. Even if a fraction of drivers switch to solar electric commuting, the impact on grid loads, emissions, and resource extraction will be enormous. That's how systems change begins. Not with perfection, but with a functional, efficient alternative. One that works with Earth's energy flows, instead of against them. So, maybe Aptera isn't the world's most successful EV yet. But if success means building the most energy-efficient passenger vehicle, proving that clean commuting can be nearly free, and surviving over 20 years of hurdles, then maybe it's time we rethink what success really means. Thanks for watching and sticking around to this point. If you've learned something today, don't forget to give this video a like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. Remember to share. Thank you once more and see you in the next episode.